everyone, you're watching Crash Test Brits, and welcome to a brand new series of No Man's Sky, which came out on PC today, came out on PS4 on Wednesday, but no one gives a shit. Um, it's... Okay, disclaimer, PS4 isn't that bad, I take it, I take it all back, it's fine. Okay, no hate, no hate! But it's here! It has launched! And we're gonna see if the hype is actually justified, or whether it's just a, a bucket full of disappointment which usually consists of many, many ice cubes and cactuses. Maybe. I am wearing a hat. This is because I am Captain Brit. This is relevant. And things. <laughs> At any rate, I hope you'll uh, join me on the coming adventure as we charge through space on my sort of pirate ship, cosmic pirate ship. I will, I will do everything in my power to make it a pirate ship, I promise. <laughs> Go! Alright then, what have we got here? Oh god, it's, it's GLaDOS. You're a long way from the portal universe, I swear to god. E Edeling's A-Lod. Sure. Right, I apparently it is minus 68.2 degrees Celsius, so I'd best hope that I've got a jumper on. Or oh, it's gonna get a bit nippy. Very quickly. Okay. Um this looks distinctly Earth like so far. Um Except of course for the green fucking sky. <laughs> Oh look, I have a, a Halo plasma rifle in red. User sequence complete. Okay, so planet Edeling's Alod in in the the Euclid galaxy, whatever that means. You discovered this on the twelfth of August. Tar muchly at exactly eight o'clock. Fancy that? Right here I am. Uh, not quite sure what I'm doing. I have my crashed pirate ship that is called Rasa Mama. S36. We'll interact it with it, with the, with the E button. And we'll find out what's going on under the hood. Um, oh no, I'm in it! Oh, okay. Um, launch thruster system. So, visit the launch and landing gear system. Users advise that plutonium is required to recharge the thruster. Objective 1. Launch procedures require sufficient fuel levels before activation. Um, hold W to take off from a planet and hold space to... that's irrelevant because I don't have the fuel. So let's get fuel! I also need some... some... Karai sheets, which I can craft. Basically, um, so if I tab to open the inventory, what have I got? Um, pulse engine, which is critically damaged, not even a little bit, critically. So yeah, Heridium looks like someone just made that up, which I'm assuming someone did. Uh, and we need some zinc. So, I'm guessing we have just basically got to run around and collect things. Alright, well, can I escape from this place? How do I leave? Do I... No, oh, E button. Same, same button. Wonderful. It's created a restore point as well. So, how do I... There we go. Whipped out my rifle, and now we're going to destroy absolutely everything. Because what else does a space pirate do? Iron! Destroy! So I've got two, four, I had six. It's a multiplying! I'm a digging away! Oh, right, so I've got to make sure it doesn't overheat. I wonder where the overheating icon thing is. Where's the, is it the, the blinking button on the actual gun itself? I have no idea, to be quite honest. And I'm also kind of tripping out on this purple light. What is, what is this? Oh, plutonium! Plutonium is making everything purple. And, ah, right. Let's, let's make things green. Green is the natural colour of this planet. This is terrible. 90 plutonium from, from, from one rock. Like, a whole 90 bloody plutoniums. That is, I'm assuming, a very big number of plutoniums. I've got nothing to base that on, though. Okay, um, iron. More iron. Always a good idea. So, I'm also wondering where I get zinc. Zinc sounds like it's it's fairly critical, and I overheat it. Oh, it's the thing in the top right. That's fine. So I'll just make sure I don't overheat. 
and we'll be all right. Oh God, we have a visitor. Um, hi, are you friendly? Thermal protection. Ah. Oh, a 75%. Right. Okay. So, um, do I? Does that recharge when I go in my ship? I really hope so, because otherwise. I have no idea how to keep warm. This is probably not a good planet for me to have started on, really. Oh god! It's, is it night? It's not night! Game! You be tripping! So, if I go in here, does it... Please tell me it does recharge my... There we go, my... I can see my cold protection going back up. Well, fine. We have a base to work with here. I just can't get over the fact that it's called Rasa Mama, though. That's, um, <laughs> interesting. <laughs> Just having a look around, I am very impressed of the level of detail on this planet so far. I'm just wondering, like, how much of this is actually, like, interactable, if that's a word. I'm just like, oh, carbon! I don't think I've, I've got any of that yet. I've been mostly collecting iron, to be honest. Um, oh, God, just looking at my mining laser, which is at, like, 29%. I need to figure out how I'm going to, like, recharge that as well. Um, there's a lot about this game, I'm realising, but I don't actually know. <laughs> Ooh, shiny bright flower thing. Which, God, is actually like making a reflection on my visor when I look at it. That is actually kind of bright. Can I destroy it in the name of the Blood God? What are you? Are you friend- Well, I imagine you're friendly, because you're not actually trying to kill me. Normally things that aren't trying to kill me are my friend. Such as the hippie pirate way. Oh, now night's descending. That was very fast, actually. That was very sudden. And it's, it's very staticky, actually, looking at it on my screen. Um, sure. Sure. Apparently, I'm in a simulation. I'm not even on a real planet. This Edeling's Alod is just the Matrix 2.0, except it's not even convincing, because it doesn't even look like Earth. Um, we'll just get, we'll get back in the ship. Let's, let's do that, and let's assess... How I'm gonna fix my mining laser? Just um, multi-tool mining beam can recharge equipment with isotope elements. Are these? Yes, these are isotope elements. Good. It's kind of straightforward then. So I will, if I use a, a plutonium, that will get it back to a hundred percent. That will mark it back up fifty. Cool. We'll use a carbon then, because carbon sounds less. Expensive. Uh, I mean, I'm just using the, you know, the idea of the Earth periodic table here. I mean, on this planet, plutonium might actually be more common. Um, however, I, c I only have my puny Earthling mind to base this on, so... Uh, I'm a pirate out of his depth. Leave, leave him, me, alone. Shut up. Right, so my main objective is I have to craft car right sheets, K right sheets. However the fuck you say it! What am I, a linguist? <laughs> oh right, so no, I press E to craft a product. Fine, that makes sense. Alright, so press E, and we'll craft a kyrite sheet out of iron! Out of 50 iron! Good, I'm glad the tutorial is telling me how to do things, because otherwise, I wouldn't have a clue. <laughs> I, I do have enough iron, do I have enough to do it again? Um... Shoo. Shoo. Unhelpful. Oh, no. oh, oh, okay. Fine. I I didn't mean to get out of my starship. My legs just kind of did it by themselves. I'm, I might have to go to a doctor about that. But um, in the meantime, I will go back into my inventory and see if... Um, right. Right. Right, good. So I have all the K-Right sheets. Um, so I've got to repair it by climbing into it again. Legs. You had better behave. God, it's minus 55.5 now, but I... That's warmer. How did it get warmer at night? Again, alien plan planet climates and science and... Um... Climatology. I not a clue. Right, um... So I now have four k right sheets in that. So I can repair the launch thruster? Hey! Now I just have to charge it with plutonium! I'm like a rocket scientist pirate or something. <laughs> How much plutonium have I actually got? Um, not enough it would seem. That would charge it to about 45%. So really, I should go looking for more plutonium. 
That makes sense. Now, what about this pulse engine that's also flashing um, red? How do I close that? That's extremely annoying. Um, this technology is critically damaged, so I need two more K-Rite sheets, some zinc, and some heridium. Bearing in mind I have none of these things, that's not particularly helpful. And then something called Thamium-9, whatever the hell that is, is required to charge the thing anyway after it's even repaired. So that's the... So that's that done fucked, really. I'm glad the Photon Cannon's working at least, so at, at the very least, I can blow shit up. If need be. I say if need be. I'll probably just do it anyway for shits and giggles, but you know. Right then! Um, let's get out of the... Think. No, now I'm trying to get out of the ship and my legs again are just refusing to work with just Right now just out that hurt <laughs> Right, um Plutonium yes, that's the thing that that's the word um, so let's go and look look at the, oh, the pretty pretty flowers look at it glowing Venus flytrap of doom alien Venus flytrap Venus is an alien planet, so but it's, this isn't Venus. This is Alod, an an Alod flytrap. I'm seeing a question marker. What is that? It's intriguing me. It's it's piquing my natural sentient curiosity as a human being. And there's a, a a wild creature over yonder that way. Oh God! Suddenly I'm I'm experiencing many things of which I could explore. Oh fuck! Fuck! Ah! Ah! What are you? What the hell are you? You look weird! You're like a giant... Crab... Tentacle... Not even tentacles, it's tiny! Oh, oh, it's, it's a 75%, it's fine. Um... Can I... I'm gonna kill you. Because... That's what my natural instinct is telling me to do. And in a world where everything is upside down, and I haven't a clue what's going on... Oh, Heridium! From killing it! Yes! 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 But yeah, shoot first, ask questions later. Basically. Don't insert anything into it, please. That would be quite unsightly, and there could be kids watching this. I'm wondering if there is some, if there's some plutonium in the caves around it, because, like, if you look over yeah, over yeah, that's a word, yeah, um, there's the caves, and I will now proceed to go into them, and, um, get, get this done damn plutonium. In the next video! <laughs> ah, yeah, a bit of a shorter one. I'm kind of tr testing this format out um, just to basically keep things snappy and more digestible. So let me know what you think and I'll be continuing on and making more videos and recording more now, basically, and it'll be great. So, like and favorite video if you enjoyed it, subscribe to me if you haven't run in, I'll be seeing you in the next video I'm gonna make. That's a wrap, toodles! Ah! Yeah. Mm -hmm.